hi guys welcome to my channel and my first official video you could say because you're gonna see on my channel that i already have like two videos of my dog but that's because last year i attempted to start a youtube channel with my boyfriend and my dog but that kind of did not work out <laughs> because we have different schedules so it's kind of hard to make videos together but i didn't want to let that youtube dream die so this is me starting fresh basically and today's video i'm gonna just talk about my start of this weight loss journey that i'm going on but obviously before i talk about me starting this diet i gotta like bring it back a little bit to tell you like where it all started so basically it's a long story i'm gonna make it really short basically you know i i grew up never being the skinnier girl i wasn't heavy either but i was like in the middle range but obviously i grew up seeing other girls who were thinner or prettier or whatever and in my head i always thought i wasn't as pretty i wasn't as skinny whatever whatever but you know in elementary school and middle school i didn't really focus focus on my weight I focused more on like my facial features and in middle school I got bullied for the way I looked but never for my weight so it wasn't like a huge issue that I had until I got to high school in high school I went to an all-girls high school first of all an all-girls Catholic high school where majority of the girls were Caucasian because I live in a primarily Caucasian um neighborhood and my school was in my neighborhood so i already had that factor like i i was a woman of color so i've kind of felt out of place sometimes and then i also don't come from like a super wealthy family and these girls were more wealthy the only reason i got i went to this school was because i received a sponsorship so my family didn't have to pay as much as everybody else so, we were able to afford it with that sponsorship so like i said i wasn't as um i wasn't as wealthy as the as some of the other girls there and then on top of that i was wasn't as thin i still didn't think i was as pretty so i started being a little bit more aware of my weight um also, like, these girls were getting attention from all the boys from the other schools, and I wasn't. Yeah, you know how that goes in high school, you know. You want you want the attention from the boys, and we already went to school that didn't have boys. <laughs> but whatever. Um, I ended up getting a boyfriend in high school. Again, I still wasn't as focused on my weight yet. And I wasn't even big. I was probably, like, a hundred and... 20 pounds or something in high school but my frame is different like i'm hispanic i have curves and the other girls didn't so so obviously they're gonna look thinner when they're not as curvy <laughs> and even when i was growing up i was always like the more developed one and like at 10 years old i was already developing and, and the other girls weren't so and there was always a, a obvious difference between me and my classmates my schoolmates so i started working out in high school but it was because i wanted to fit in my prom dress it wasn't because i didn't like my body i just i just wanted to look like mm, in my prom dress for high school so i got on a diet i was working out every day after high school i would get out of school go work out and then do my homework I would work on the weekends, whatever. I lost all this weight. I, don't, I really don't remember how much I weighed, but I I lost weight, but I also was like gaining muscle and toning up and whatnot. So I guess I still was about the same weight, but you know, my body was more toned. So I looked more snatched in that prom dress. Um, then I graduated high school. I, I still had that same figure where I, like, I felt more comfortable when I was working out. 
and then get into college. I didn't feel insecure in college at all because, you know, it's like a, a melting pot in college. You have all, people from all over the world going to your school. You got all races, all sizes. Wealth, income wasn't like a thing. Nobody looked down on you because you didn't have the best clothes. Or you weren't the skinniest, you weren't the prettiest, whatever, whatever. I actually, I got a lot of attention from guys in college which so that like built up my uh self-esteem and then i had i wasn't looking at other girls like they look better than me All right it, college is just like a whole new world but then it, i would say like around like sophomore year i started having um problems in my relationship at the time Probably before that, but I just didn't want to see it that way. I don't know. I guess I was lying to myself. Anyways, but I started to realize it. And that's where I guess I started losing myself. So I started not to like myself and like who I was in that relationship. And, you know, I'm not going to give you the details of the relationship, but basically, it wasn't working out, and I didn't feel like I was important enough, or good enough, or whatever. Um, so that relationship started to crumble, and it ended up crumbling completely <laughs> my junior year of college. I mean, I, I was okay, because for a, for a long time, I already wasn't like emotionally invested in that relationship anymore but then when when we finally broke up i kind of was in this vulnerable state and i felt like people took advantage of that vulnerability and it was just there was just a lot of things emotionally going on this was in 2016 actually in the beginning of 2016 and then towards the end of 2016 is when I started dating my current boyfriend so in that whole like span of that year there was just a whole lot of emotions relationships just <laughs> yeah no yeah no yeah know what I'm talking about so uh all these emotions like really put me made me feel down and I lost 10 pounds in that year because I wasn't eating as much. I just I just felt bad about myself. And then I started dating my new boyfriend. And I'm not going to lie, like, that was a super, super rough start in our relationship. And I know you're probably thinking, like, oh, if it was rough, then why'd you continue that? It's a little complicated because I've known my boyfriend. We've been dating for three years, but I've known him since 2005 because we went to middle school together and we were like super close friends. So it's kind of hard to just be like, all right, bye, I'm cutting you off. No, because <laughs> then I'm cutting off all those years of friendship and whatever. And... <sighs> I can't blame him completely for it being rocky because he's a guy, first of all. Second of all, um, we were friends first. So we had this f friendship where, you know, we would cut jokes on each other and not take it to heart and whatnot. But then when we started dating, you know, not officially, like, just going on dates, whatever. It's like a switch flipped in my head that was like, okay, I can't act like just your friend now and cut on you and make fun of you and do all this thing. I mean, I can, but to a certain extent where for him, I felt like it wasn't really like that. Like, he still acted like we were just friends and would say things that bothered me that I felt like a boyfriend shouldn't say. That was in the beginning, though. He's way better now. <laughs> so... I let all those things that he was saying affect me and you know other things were involved in that also not just things he was saying you know things he was doing so that stuff affected me 
and you know I was still dealing with all the drama that happened with my last relationship and everything in between with other people and I'd say like I'm gonna show you a picture of how I looked in Christmas 2016 I was still pretty thin for thin for my body type and then the when the new year started, that's when I feel like I really started gaining weight. Like I would just seek food to fill these voids I had. When I was sad, I would I would cry, but I would eat. <laughs> and when I was mad, I would eat. It was just a cycle, a cycle of eating. Yes, don't get me wrong, I'm Hispanic. I love me my food. I love to go out to eat with my boyfriend, with my family and my friends. But it was more than that. It was like, yeah, I would go eat my meals, but then I would go sneak or in the middle, not the middle of the night, but like at, at midnight, I would go, it's so bad. I would literally go to the kitchen, eat a few chips, eat like a snack bar, eat some cookies eat a jello like eat all these things all these snacks in one sitting which i know it's obviously wasn't good for me but that's i guess that's just how i would handle my situations so i started gaining this weight and um it wasn't too too bad like i probably came i probably started out like that Christmas picture, I probably probably weighed like 135 pounds, 140, give or take, 135 probably. And then I gained, I went up to probably like 150 in that next year, that 2017. And then it didn't get better because people were, people started telling me, people in my family, started telling me how I was gaining weight somebody actually called me fat and said comments that really hurt me so then you know you you don't want to hear that from the people who are supposed to have your back so it just made me eat more and then it got to a point like well it doesn't matter people are viewing me this way anyways so what does it matter that I keep on eating and that I keep on gaining weight I don't need to love myself and I don't, and people don't need to love the way I look. Even though deep down I wanted people to just accept me the way I was or or realize that I had a problem and that the things they said weren't helping the problem. So fast forward. <laughs> I went from 2016 being like 135 pounds ish to 2019 i went to the doctor in the beginning of 2019 and i weighed 171 pounds so i was overweight super overweight i was literally borderline obese by like 0 0.1 <laughs> 0 0.1 borderline obesity but it still didn't click like i knew in my head like i needed to stop but again, like I like I said earlier, I had all these emotions and I was turning to food for to cope with. And people around me still were not helping or things weren't clicking. And I was having drama, like other drama too, not just with my boyfriend, but like family drama, um, school drama, because after I graduated college, it was like I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. Like I just went to school for four years and got a bachelor's in biology and I didn't know what the heck to do with it because I thought I wanted to do A, but then when I finished it was like, but I want to do A, B, C, D. Like I was, I was completely lost basically. And it was really frustrating me that I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do in life. And then I had my family like, put kind of pressure on me like telling me what well, like you need to figure it out you need to figure it out I mean now they finally understand like it's it's not always that easy to pick to settle on one thing that you want to do so I was stressed out about that and I felt like I wasted my time in school 
and I'm wasting my life away even though I'm young all these things all these things were putting all this stress on me I also had gotten a puppy as you can see my little baby Jax well when he was a puppy I was super stressed out it was my first time actually like really really taking care of uh, a dog and he was a baby on top of that so I had to train him he was making messes all the time um i didn't have i didn't really have money to fully support him even though i split the cost with my boyfriend but like my portion that i had to pay <laughs> my portion that i had to pay i couldn't always meet it like i would meet it obviously i wasn't like negligent towards him but it cost stress like how am i gonna afford a dog and and all my credit card bills and all of this other stuff and i was taking online classes like how am i gonna pay for these classes whatever whatnot you get the point i was stressed <laughs> so yeah um, 2019 i weighed 171 pounds i'm still stressing out i'm still eating even though the doctor my doctor even asked me if I wanted to go to a nutritionist and I was too embarrassed that I just said no. Like, I know I just need to eat less. Then in August of this year, I went on a family vacation. Obviously, you're going to eat a lot on vacation, but I didn't. I felt like I was eating the same amount that I do at home, which, like you heard me say, was <laughs> a lot of snacking. Not good, not good. So when I came back from vacation and I was looking at the photos and I'm going to throw one up right here. I finally saw like how big I had gotten compared to like what three years ago. You shouldn't even be gaining that much weight in three years. And I gained a lot of weight. When I came back from vacation, I weighed around 178 pounds so that's when it kind of hit me it, it hit me but it, sometimes it's hard to start a diet like it, it, you could see a thousand pictures of yourself and give yourself pep talks about how you have to start a diet how you have to get healthy and you might not even do it i saw those pictures well it, like one picture in particular and I really wasn't feeling good about myself even before that picture was taken. Like, I could physically look down and see, like, this giant <laughs> belly that I grew. My clothes wasn't fitting me. Like, everything was tight. I mean, I wear stretchy material, like, form-fitting material most of the time anyways. But now it just looks super tight. It looks like I'm going to bust out of there. Like, a, I'm like a can of biscuits. So after I saw those numbers on the scale after vacation, I said I need to just start doing something. So my attempt at changing my diet and um, losing weight was to just try to eat clean foods. Like I tried to eat more fruits. Um, I tried to eat, it, I kind of tried like a paleo diet. But the problem was that I wasn't, good at sticking to diets as most of you could probably relate so i would like eat healthy for like two days and then the next day go out and have french fries and burgers and wings and sugary drinks and ugh. i wasn't sticking to it and then i went on vacation again in october to florida while i was over there i obviously was not following any type of diet just eating chick-fil-a which mm, that chick-fil-a sauce mm, that's all i gotta say <laughs> anyways i came home from that vacation still eating the same habits then november comes around and i jump on the scale and the scale says 184.4 and at this point, I can physically feel unhealthy. My knees were hurting. My knees are still hurting, but I just started a diet. So obviously, I'm not going to just recuperate out of nowhere. 
But at that time, my knees were hurting so bad. I couldn't um, sit Indian style because my knees would like lock up. And then when I would stretch my leg back out, it would hurt really, really bad. It would hurt to walk up the stairs. My arms were giving in. I couldn't pick things up. It just, it was a toll on my body. Like I'm like 5'3 around there. My maximum weight should be around 140 pounds. So I'm already like 45 pounds overweight. I was obese already. <sighs> so that's when I knew, like for real, for real, you need to do something with your life. Like stop wasting your life around. And then also in my head, I'm like, what if I continue these bad habits? And in the future, I need surgery for my knees. Or I won't be able to carry a baby because it's going to be too much pressure on my legs. Or complications are going to happen. And ultimately, if I keep on doing this, I'm not going to love myself for, for who I am. Because I'm causing damage to my body, honestly. So that's when I started the keto diet. Now don't get me wrong, I've tried the keto diet before. But it was like a joke. <laughs> like I would do it for like a week and then stop and gain all my weight back and do it again and gain all my weight back. But I think my issue all the times that I tried was that I wasn't doing it right. You know, like I was eating the same stuff over and over again. And you eat the same stuff, you get bored. And now I've been doing keto for like three weeks and... I try to come up with new recipes or like take a recipe that I would eat if I wasn't on a diet and find a way to make it keto. So, yeah, I've been doing that for three weeks and I weighed myself on Thursday, this Thursday that just passed. And I lost 11.2 pounds in those three weeks. So now I am 173.2, I believe. Mind you, within those three weeks, I had a bunch of cheat days because I went to a wedding. It was Thanksgiving. I know I started to die before Thanksgiving. Like, what? <laughs> it was my dad's birthday. It was my mom's birthday. Oh, my sister's birthday is coming up. It was just a bunch of cheat days. But um, my thing is that when, when I have a cheat day now, the next day I like, I don't cheat again. You know, sometimes you, you cheat and then you have a craving. The, crave, the same cravings the next day. Um, me, it's just I have this mindset now that like I have to get healthier. I have to lose weight for my body's sake. So I just automatically go back to the keto diet. So. So, yeah. That is my video for the day. About like a short version of my weight loss journey um obviously i'm gonna make more videos about me continuing continuing in this journey i want to make like recipe videos for people out there like me who get tired of eating the same thing like i don't want to eat eggs all the time so yeah that's my video um i really hope that you guys liked it and i hope that you can relate to the things i said i know i didn't get super in detail Maybe in another video I will because there's a lot more. There was a lot of like cause and effect of all the things that I was dealing with. Anyways, subscribe if you like and stay tuned for the rest of the videos that I'm going to post. I don't know like a video schedule yet. I'll try to do once a week at least. Like obviously at least once a week. Like who are you playing? Like, <laughs> um, and. Just a heads up, like, this channel is not going to be, like, solely about um my keto journey because there's so many things that I want to do. And there's so many things that I'm into, like, for example, like, makeup, art. Um, I love to bake. I have, like, a side business doing that. I love shopping. I love my dog. I, it's a bunch of things. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.